It is very cold. I am literally sitting with my blankie. It's so cold in here. My hands are cold. I am getting ready for an event, so I thought I might as well just get ready with you guys on camera. The reason why I'm getting ready is because I'm going to be doing something hopefully purple. The event, they said have a touch of purple with your outfit. And I know for a fact that I don't have anything purple in my closet. So I, might, I thought I might as well have something purple on my face. So I thought I'll do like a purple smoky eye. We'll see how that goes. I'm not necessarily like gonna be trying too many products because I'm going somewhere and like I just freak out when I try new things. Let me just brush my eyebrows with a bit of setting powder because I want them not to be too shiny. And photos at night have a lot of flash photography. So I always worry about that. If you've got oily skin, usually your, your brows will shine after a while. I am going to be using this Revlon Brow Colorstay Brow Creator. I actually tried this on in another video yesterday and it came out really good. So I was just like, okay, let me use this. So this is an alternative if you don't want to use the LA Girl I recommended earlier. This is just as good. And this is even better because it's got a powder. It's got a powder in it. I feel like I'm screaming. So in the middle here, if you pull it, well, if you pull it or well, screw it out, is the powder that you can use to pack on like the end if you just want to darken the edges a bit. I think my brows look good. What do you guys think? Guys, I wish I could stay with individual lashes forever. I'm gonna be using the. Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C13. I feel like I've, I've actually mastered the lighting now. I like the lighting now, it looks good. Now the Makeup Revolution Concealer is not necessarily my favorite to conceal, but it is my favorite as a eye base. Um, just because the C12 is too light for me. I just realized it's like too, too light for me. And then C13 is not bright enough for me. I don't know. I just feel like it's too much work trying to mix them and get them the right shade every time you wear it. It should be one go. And I'm so glad you guys can't hear the autofocus sound anymore because the things that I'm hearing, wow. And I found a new spot for the laptop so you guys can't hear the overheating sound. So hopefully that works as well. For shadow, I thought of my Juvia's um, palette. This shadow over here, the Zulu palette is not actually named. They don't name the colors in the Zulu palette. I'm gonna be taking my brush, which does not have a name. And if you want pigment, all you do is you press. So you keep pressing, following where the shadow is gonna be. That's how you get pigment. That's a trick I learned. So you don't bend it up, but you keep pushing it in. Now I'm going to take a tapered um, blending brush and I just really I don't know what shade I'm going to use to blend this out. I will take the brown. I'm 
that's just to prevent that harsh line and then I'm just gonna go and pack on a bit more I am gonna go into my Game of Thrones Urban Decay palette and we're gonna take the shade Wherewood Leaves which is also like a dark purple that seems to have a bit of shimmer a shimmer base to it Sticking on lashes takes me long, longer because I have individual lashes so I have to avoid my lash line but I have to stick it on like my skin. So I'm going to go back into my NARS. I know I don't film with this but this is something I wear if I'm going to events. I'll wear like some of my favorite foundations but I won't wear them if I'm doing a tutorial because I know this is something you can't find here. So I do avoid wearing them on normal day tutorials, but today's an event, so it's an exception. And before anyone asks, I got this, someone got this for me at the airport in Heathrow, so you won't get this in SA, and I don't know where to get it in SA. So that's why I stopped using it for tutorials. This one though is a bit orange versus my other nose. Because this is the um, All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. So you can see this foundation is like a tad bit light for me. So I do like over bronze and over contour when I use this because your girl is not trying to be that person. So this is how you fix it like when you buy a foundation that's too like this is what i always say if you're a shade in a specific range you're probably not going to be the same shade in the other range because i don't know why they tend to change things with another range i don't know why brands do that like why is it why am i not the same shade in all your foundations so i'm using the um, black opal suede mocha guys i use this in every video it's not gonna change until i find something better so this is my go-to you can see already like that color is coming back into my face To highlight because it's it's a night event I want a bright highlight I don't do this during the day though I'm gonna be using the next can stop won't stop um, caramel To set my face, I'm going to be using Laura Mercier um, Translucent Powder. Like I said, um, if it's a night event, chances are the photographer there, um, the photographer there will be using flash photography. So, you know, you always want to play it safe when somebody else is going to be taking pictures of you. Because usually they just take and go and you... They don't even let you see so you don't want to rock up in the newspapers and then you out here looking like a ghost I'm gonna go and set my contour with the next three step scalp palette in the shade deep. I'm 
I'm gonna go back in with that Zulu palette and take that purple shade. I'm gonna darken my waterline with um, this NYX pencil. Um, it is called the Slide On Glide On Stay On Definitely Turn a Turn On Water Extreme Shine Eyeliner. If that is not the longest name you've ever heard in your life, then I don't know what it is. I don't know, like, what up, NYX? By the time I get here, I won't know what this liner is called because, yeah. I'm gonna go back into this palette and use the shade. I'm gonna be using the shade Hard Home for the um, inner corners of my eye. To highlight, I'm gonna be taking my Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. I'm gonna take my go-to blush. I really need a new blush, y'all. I, I really can't. I want something peachy, but I just don't know. I haven't had the chance to go makeup shopping. Or oh, nobody's releasing peachy. Is that something I'm gonna have to wait for the summer? I don't know. I don't know. Um, mm, what am I missing? Mascara. I'm gonna be using the roller lash liner. Mascara. This is like my go-to till it runs out because it's that good. Now, to, just to set my face a bit, I'm going to use cappuccino um, powder. And I use this to set all the places where I did not highlight that we left blank. Oh my gosh, guys, this camera takes up so much space on memory cards. So, like, the space ran out and it stopped recording, and I didn't realize it stopped recording. This is the final look for lipstick. I tried this Pretty by Floma um, lipstick in the shade Creamy Coffee. And for setting my face, I use the Lasting Fix makeup setting spray so pretty much after i had set my face with the can stop won't stop um powder and cappuccino i did nothing else um besides the fact that i thought of adding more highlighter since this is a night event so you might want to glow you know to the golds. So I'm gonna go pick out an outfit and come show y'all. <laughs> so yeah, it's the final look. This is so different. This bodysuit is from Shoprit Robson and I have a discount code for you guys. You can use Tundi30 to get 30% off at Christmas on the channel and this skirt is from Dear Lover. I filmed an awesome haul on some items that I got from there a while back. My shoes are Steve Madden. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this but stick around and check out the next video.